Hi, my name is Akemi. I'm going to show you how to make temari sushi. Temari sushi is the easiest and the prettiest sushi anyone can make at home. What you need is clean film, double it for strengths, you need a bowl of water to keep your hands clean and also to keep your hands wet, otherwise your rice will stick to your hand. And the rice, sushi rice, of course. The beauty of this sushi also is you can make any ingredients into sushi. For example, the first sushi I'm going to make is spinach sushi. It's lightly wilted by branching. And if you like it hot, you can add a little wasabi in the center. Be very careful, they're very, very strong. And wet your hand, pat it on a wet towel. Take about two tablespoons, no more, of the rice. Here, all you need is to get four corners together, twist once, then bring it upside down. Use your finger to make it a perfect spherical shape. Do this very gently because you don't want to squash it. The nice sushi is very fluffy inside but firm enough on the outside so it holds its shape. When it's done, take it out and that's your first sushi. You can garnish this sushi with anything you like as long as the flavour combination is lovely. I'm, I've chosen today sushi ginger, but they are chopped into very small pieces. I'll give it a generous portion. Here we are. That looks good. Here's um, roast beef. So if you have any leftover of roast beef, Sunday roast on Monday, you can have sushi with this. It's actually surprisingly refreshing. Okay, a little amount of wasabi. Rice on top. Take it out. There. No, what I'm garnishing roast beef with is slightly unusual. I'm using yuzu infused spring onions chopped finely. So what it is, is, well, you may not be familiar with yuzu. Yuzu is a Japanese citrus, very intense aroma and a beautiful, beautiful taste. It's very hard to get hold of in this country as a fruit, but you can buy this in juice. It goes really well with soy sauce, by the way. So a little bit of that on top. So when you choose the ingredients, I suggest you you watch out for the flavour combination as well as the colour combination. Then if you get the rice right, your sushi is going to be amazing.